Hi guys, today, mocha. This invention played a really important part in the Italian coffee culture. And today, mocha is famous all around the world. The mocha pot consists of three main parts. The boiler, where we put the water, the funnel shaped basket, where we put the coffee, and the upper chamber, where the coffee is collected. How does a mocha work? The water contained in the lower chamber, when heated, creates steam pressure that pushes the water through the basket containing coffee. That pressure ranges between one to two bars. Here, I want to open a parenthesis saying that the extraction of the mocha is very different from the nine bars extraction that we use for espresso. That's why I always say to people that compare the mocha with espresso that there are two different brewing methods with the result of two different brews with different flavor characteristics. Anyway, going back to our mocha, the water is pushed through the basket, extracting solutes all the way up through the chimney and finally collected in the upper chamber. Now, I want to show you how I make mocha. Let's start with the coffee. Today, I'm using an espresso roast blend and I'm blending 20% of Ethiopia and 80% of Colombia. Why espresso roast? Because with my method, mocha brews at a temperature below 90 degrees Celsius. So if we use a medium light roast, we will obtain an under-extracted coffee. There is a way to brew medium light roast coffee with mocha, and I will tell you soon how. I grind my coffee fine. As reference, I'm grinding with the Comandante at 11 regular ticks. I brew my mocha with a ratio of 1 to 6.5 coffee to water. I'm using 20 grams of coffee and I'm gonna brew with 130 grams of water. To put the coffee into the basket, you can use a teaspoon. It's very important not to press the coffee. Just tap on the basket or help yourself with the table to level the coffee. Once it's done, I leave this on the side for a second. And now it's time to prepare the water. I suggest using filtered water or a bottled one. I advise against using tap water, not only because it would affect the quality of the brew, but also for a better maintenance of the machine. I heat the water at 80 degrees Celsius, because at this temperature the mocha starts to brew. If I use cold water, it will take more time. I saw videos where people were saying not to put cold water because otherwise the extra time on top of the stove will overeat the coffee, creating bad taste. And that is incorrect. A classic mocha is made of aluminium, a metal which has a higher heat conductivity than stainless steel, for example. And the water contained inside the boiler is able to maintain the temperature of the mocha underneath 100 degrees Celsius and you can check it with a thermometer if you want. Now, if you want to brew a medium light roast coffee with mocha, what you have to do is to boil the water and then warm up the boiler. Aluminium also has a good heat retention, so it will keep the heat longer. After 30 seconds, throw away the water and refill the boiler with the amount of water you need for your brew this time. Once this is done, I put the basket inside. I get a filter for Aeropress. This will give me a better clarity of the cup without losing body. I wet it and then apply it on the metal filter. After this, I close the mocha, helping myself with a kitchen towel, because at this time the boiler will be hot. Now I place the mocha on the stove at very low heat. Because the water is already hot inside the boiler, it just needs a little push. And then we wait. I usually put a thermometer on the chimney to understand when the coffee is about to come up. 
with my method, the coffee should come up at a temperature around 65 degrees Celsius. If the coffee comes underneath 60 degrees Celsius, that means that my coffee is gonna be under extracted. And if the coffee is coming up at a temperature over 70 degrees Celsius, it means that my coffee is gonna be over extracted instead. Now the coffee starts to come up, very slow, and that is what we want. You can see from the color how rich it is. Now you can see, as the time goes by, the flow starts to be faster, and the color starts to be brighter. When you see the flow becoming bigger out of the chimney, it is time to remove the mocha from the stove, for it to stop brewing because we don't want to over extract the coffee. After this, I always pour the coffee in another vessel. This will mix the brew and put air inside of it, opening the flavor it contains. And finally, it's time to enjoy your cup of coffee. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope my method, it will be very helpful for you to brew amazing mocha. Please, if you have any questions or you want to share with me your mocha method, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Also, if like me, you are passionate about coffee, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ciao.